Hey everyone, it's Presley at ActoGames.com here, and today I'm doing a little bit of a follow-up to a video I did all the way back in 2015, which is absolutely crazy, and it was of this really, really cool game system called Puzzlets, um, and when I played it, I was really blown away about how good it was at teaching uh, through a really fun game that me and my brother absolutely love. Um, and it teaches kind of basic computer programming and computer uh, programming and math thinking, like taking one big problem and solving it in little steps. And it was just so cool, and me and my brother really loved playing it, and we're both learning a lot while playing it. So the other day, the Digital Dream Labs team reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try out their two new games. And of course, I jumped at the chance because I absolutely love Corpse of Volcano, which is a computer programming game. Uh, so their two new games are both really, really cool. And the first one I'm going to be talking about is their math game called Abacus Finch. And the main concept of Abacus Finch is that numbers can be broken down into different ways. Like, for example, a 5 can be a 4 and a 1, or a 3 and a 2. And that can be a really hard concept to grasp when you're first learning about numbers, so it helps a lot to have a really cool and really fun platformer game like this to help you learn those things. So some of the tiles that come with Abacus Finch um, are these gems, which are plus 1, and these pickaxes, which are minus 1, as well as various multiplication tiles um, that will allow you to do things multiple times as a multiplication tile. So as you play the game, you'll run into certain obstacles, such as doors that you need a certain number of gems to unlock. And at the easiest door, you'll have a door that has no gems, and it needs one gem. So you put the gem on the tray table, and you unlock the door. Um, and at a harder one, then you'll have a door that has five gems, but it needs three gems. So you need to put two pickaxes on the tray to subtract two from that, and then you end up having three gems. And it's a really cool concept, and it helps little kids learn a lot about how to put together different numbers using different pieces. When it really starts getting cool is when you run into a door that needs, say, four gems. And of course you could unlock that door by putting four gems on the tray, but you could also unlock it by putting a gem, and then a times three multiplication tile, and then another gem to make that four. And it's really cool, and it's helping kids learn a lot about different ways to make numbers and teaching them about the relationship between numbers, instead of just learning a simple equation equation like 5 minus 4 equals 1, you can understand so many different ways to get the same numbers using different equations. Um, so I think it's really cool. And something else that's also really cool is my little brother loves it too. And he's 5 and he's already talking about multiplication and addition and he's counting coins around the house and thinking of equations and it's just so cool. Okay Cooper, how many gems are on that door? Is 5. And how many do you need to take away to make a 1? Hmm. 4. And can you tell me two different ways to make four? Mm -hmm. Put four pickaxes on the tray. One pickaxe, a time three, and another pickaxe. Good job. Because four can be made up of a three and a one, but it can also be made up of four ones, right? Mm -hmm. Speaking of being composed of other parts, Digital Dream Lab's other game is called Swatch Out, and it's all about the composition of colors. And if you love art like I do, this one you will love too. So the concept is super simple. You have these paint tubes that you put in the tray, and they come in red, blue, yellow, black, and white. And for example, you'll see a red enemy on the screen, and you'll have to take the red paint tube and put it on the tray and draw a red box around that enemy to take it out. And a little bit of a harder example is there'll be an orange enemy, so you have to put the red and yellow tubes both on the tray and then draw an orange box around the enemy. And it's really cool because it's teaching kids about how to mix colors and mix paint to get the color they want. What I really love about this game is the way that it reinforces the ideas in so many different ways. For example, you'll see a green enemy, and you have to mix a yellow and blue on the tray and draw a box around it to take it out. And then maybe later on, you'll see a different green enemy, and when you try and take that one out, it splits into two different smaller yellow and blue enemies, and you have to take those out separately. And then even later in the game, there'll be a yellow and a blue enemy, and they'll fuse together to make a green enemy. And it's so cool that it has so many different ways of reinforcing the ideas. Because you'll be mixing the colors to take out an enemy, and then the enemy will split down into its component colors, and then the, com the component colors will fuse together to make another enemy. And it's just so cool, and it definitely teaches in a really, really interesting way. Just like Abacus Finch, Swatch Art also works for both me and my brother. It's really great for him because he's learning about mixing colors for the first time using a really, really fun game. You can look, there's an orange enemy. How do you make orange so you can beat it? So we take yellow and red. So put them on. Go draw a box on. Whoa! Whoa, 
bumped into something. Careful. Mm -hmm. Quick. Oh no. Oh wait. Go here. Go here. Go okay. Around. Go around. I'm just gonna. There you go. Good job. Everyone. One is like nope. Oh, careful. Um, no, no, no. I have to say to win now. Thank you very much. So for me, it works really well because as you get into the later levels, it starts getting really, really chaotic and there's critters everywhere and they're all trying to attack you and you don't have time to look at the pieces and think about which colors mix to form which color. And it's really, really cool because you just have to know them. It just has to be second nature so you can put them on the tray and start taking out the enemies. And that's really, really cool because it's testing you on it, but it's testing you on it in a fun way and it's getting harder so it's not just the same difficulty level. Um, and it's just such a really, really interesting way of having kids learning about colors. So the team at Digital Dream Labs has done it again and they've created two new really really cool EDU games that don't feel like homework and they just feel like completely normal games and they're just so fun and even though you're learning a lot it feels like you're just playing a really fun game and I'm really really excited to see what they come up with next because all of their previous work has been so so amazing. So as of right now, they have a Kickstarter campaign that is helping fund the mass production of these pieces like this. The games are already done and they're working perfectly. I have the prototype tiles and it's working absolutely smoothly and absolutely amazingly. Um, and I'm really, really loving it. Uh, so please, please go to their Kickstarter and back them. Uh, it will help them out a whole lot. And it's not really a matter of completing the game. It's a matter of making enough pieces so that everyone can get their hands on some. And I promise you that you won't regret it if you back it and get these two new really cool games and if you don't have Quirk the Volcano which is a computer programming game then you can get a three set which contains all three of the games and I yet again I promise you you won't regret it they're super fun and they're really really good for learning. So another huge thank you to the team over at Digital Dream Labs for sending me an early copy of these pieces. I have been really, really loving these games, and me and Cooper will keep playing and keep learning so long as you guys keep making really, really cool and really, really fun educational games. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!